If you feel Android handles links poorly, you're not alone. I'm Taylor Martin with Pocket Now, and this is Link Bubble and Tap Path. Chris Lacey is a developer who likes to think outside the box, to point out the tiny idiosyncrasies of the Android experience you didn't realize were driving you mad, and fix them. That's exactly what he's done with two of his newest apps, TapPath and LinkBubble. So what are they exactly? I covered LinkBubble back in April, shortly after its release. It's a lightweight, floating bubble browser that loads web pages in the background to provide an uninterrupted browsing experience. For instance, without LinkBubble, tapping any old link will shoot you out of the app you're currently in and load the default browser. You will then have to sit and wait for the page to fully load. A few seconds here and there is no big deal, and the rocky handoff between the application and browser is something most users can deal with. But those precious seconds add up over time. Sometimes you just want to continue looking at your Twitter or Google Plus feeds while loading pages in the background. That was Lacey's reason for creating LinkBubble to save time and load pages discreetly without interrupting whatever it was you were doing when you clicked the link. With LinkBubble installed and set as the default browser, tapping a link in almost any application will pop out a tiny bubble. Inside that bubble, the web page will load while you continue doing what you were doing or tapping more links to load. At your own convenience, you can browse all the links you opened. Loading multiple links from a Google Now search is a perfect example of how this is useful. It's simple and very effective and has saved me an average of 1.2 minutes per link. But that's not all LinkBubble does. It parses the information in a web page and provides shortcuts to media embedded in a page, like YouTube videos. And if a link is associated with a third-party app like YouTube, Instagram, or Twitter, LinkBubble will take care of the handoff in the background, seamlessly, and take you straight to the app. It also comes with quick user-definable shortcuts for sharing. Drag a LinkBubble to the upper right or left corner to share to your preferred methods. And if LinkBubble isn't the best way to view a web page, you can easily jump to your secondary browser using the selected fallback browser in the settings. And that brings us to TapPath, a much more specific app. But make no mistake, it's just as helpful, because loading a link into the wrong type of browser can just as easily waste your time. TapPath only does one thing, it's a link handler. What that means is it allows you to choose how to open a link using a combination of taps, single, double, or triple taps. In this case, a single tap launches a link in LinkBubble, a double tap will load a link in CM Browser, and a triple tap will send the link to Buffer. Through the TapPath app, you can easily customize how each tap combination will handle links. This is very helpful if you know LinkBubble isn't the best option. Like, for instance, if you need to copy text. In that case, a double tap to load a link in CM Browser would be more effective and efficient. LinkBubble and TapPath are available in Google Play for free and 99 cents respectively, but if you want the full LinkBubble experience, you'll need to purchase the $2.99 Pro Unlock. Folks, if you like the apps we talked about in this video, you can find links to their Google Play pages in the description below, and if you liked the video and found it helpful, click the thumbs up button and subscribe. You can find us around the web on Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus at PocketNow. I'm Taylor Martin, Casper Tech on Twitter, and I will see you next time.